Hi everyone, welcome again. This is Professor Deb Cricken. I'm gonna to talk to you about WordPress. So let me share my screen. So WordPress is a very, um, very popular blog. It is widely used through many industries. Um, in fact, our college website, the public website is a WordPress interface. And what does that mean? It means that it is a learning management system. So this is the first page that you will see under wordpress.com, and that's where you will go. And when you create your WordPress blog, you wanna be sure to create something that's gonna last long. It's, it's, you wanna give it a title. If you have a nickname or a name that you love or a branding name or your name in itself, if your name was John Doe, and of course, there are probably lots of John Doe's. You might want to put your um, initial John H. Doe or John Doe 2020 or whatever it may be. But a number that is short and memorable it could be the year that you started the blog, which is always exciting to see. So she as time goes on. But the important thing is this will become your e-portfolio site that will you will put all of your assignments up to, and you will not get credit to the work unless it is on your blog. Very critical, very important. And why do we do that? Because we want to emphasize the importance of the work that you do and that it is accomplished, and here is the evidence. So let's get started. And the other thing to remember is once you have your blog, you want to send me the URL. The URL is up here. This is your web address. And this is what we call the URL. And so that's what you want to copy and paste. And you always want to copy and paste. You never want to type it because typos are big errors in emails and so forth. So typing, I mean, so copy and pasting is really the way to go with a lot of links and a lot of emails. So let's get started. There we go. There, there we have it. So I will save this. And now this is where you would be putting the unique name that you want to have. And you want to make it not something that it's a throwaway name, this is an important name. So I'm going to, uh, I had created this for the student blog. So I'm gonna call it NMG for New Media Group. Uh, we are stationed in Peekskill, but we meet on the Valhalla campus. And so now that will be my domain. And it will try to get you to do a free one, but you want to get a free, so always, on these social media sites, you probably already know this, always try to get it to be free. So I've got new media group, peak skill, WordPress, and I'm going to select it. And of course, again, they're trying to get you to sign up. And many people do because it's a worthy interface uh, to have. But right here, you wanna come up to here, we start with a free site. Now it's building my site. And we will have many WordPress tutorials to help you get through. But right now we're trying to just to create pages and that's what we're trying to do today. So up here, there is my site title. Here are the pages. And the pages are what we are asking to do. So we're going to create a page, add a new page, and we're gonna call this page um, Digital Imaging. And here you can see they have templates. My recommendation is not to use a template because you really don't know how to use WordPress yet. Once you get comfortable in getting around and understanding the software, yes, absolutely, these template pages are excellent. So we'll go to blank page and up here, I call it digital imaging and we simply publish. So publish is the button for saving. There is no command S or control S. It is always this blue button. And the UI and the UX of WordPress is a brilliant interface. And that is why it's so successful. 
So it says a lot about what UX and UI are, and you can get into that with the web design class. So right now I'm gonna publish. Publish again. I'm very happy with that site. And now I'm gonna come back over here. I could view it if I wanted to, but I'm gonna come back over here to the WW. And now I'm going to see, welcome to WordPress. Now, what it does want me to do is I do have to uh, confirm that uh, page in my email because it went to my email. That's exactly where it is. So right now, let's go view pages. Here is my page. Now, if I went to see the site, see it says coming soon. It will not launch until you launch it in your email. Then you will be able to see it. So I'm going to come back over here and add the more of the pages, as it has said. Come back again, add new, and this one will be uh, print. Again, blank page. And I do list all the pages that you need to create. And so you want to be able to do that. So we do publish, ready to publish. And again, you won't be able to see it until you activate it. Now let's do a view page. Let's see what will happen. See, it says your site has not been launched yet. Only you can see this site. And there it is, uh, as far as the site's concerned. So now I'll come back over here. Uh, dismiss. Come back up again to the upper left. That's where all the dashboard tools are. And now what I want to do is come over here to appearance to customize. Customize will uh, let you be able to see the pages up on the bar, the menu. And so you want to come over here to menus. And you want to click primary. And you see right now by default and this style of a theme is let's see here i wish i could see what this says here we'll come back to the theme because there are many themes that you can choose from i think it's important just to go simple at this point uh, it makes it easier for you to do and so by default it looks like that they're giving me a very simple site and we'll take a look to see so here up here is your menu Here's a site title that I can change. And yes, you can edit this right here. And let's see if it'll let me edit right here. Title. So I'll say new media group student club site. And that is a club that I am an advisor to uh, as far as uh, gaming, uh, studio tours and so forth. And then, of course, you want to put your tagline. Uh, and this tagline can change any day, any time. So just create a tagline that pursues your um, professional goals. You never know when an opportunity is going to happen and some you can send this blog address to a potential internship. That's the critical component to be putting the work up as you create it so that any moment in time you get an email from someone and they want to see your work. You have it. You don't have to scramble to get it together. So we'll just leave a timeline. Uh, uh, let's create a timeline. Um, create new timeline. Create new tagline. That will remind me to do that because I will see that. So I'll save the changes. And that's how you can change your name. And it could be your name as well. So I'll come back over here. So the interface is very, very uh, uh, smart and intuitive. So now you see my two pages that I created are not here. That's because you have to add the items. So there is my digital imaging and there is my print. Now to make a drop down menu, what you need to do is to come over here once you've added all the pages simply mouse down and push it under. Now that will become a drop down. And so now I can save the changes. And there, when you drop this down, it will say print, just like that. 
And now you have that. And so you can add all of them underneath. In this example, what you can do is you can add any of your student classes. Even if you have biology or government, make a page on your WordPress for that class. And you can have the drop down for all of the assignments. This is really valuable because any essay that you write or any research that you do, this adds to your potential uh, skills for research. And so that's a very important component of creative technologies. What is your inspiration? So I'm going to save everything up here and then I'm going to exit it. And watch if I try to see this. It's not going to really show it to me because it's not truly launched. And this is where you can come up here to visit site. And you'll see it has not been launched. But when you do your uh, launch to site, because it'll tell me right now, you have to go to your email to, to launch it. So I've already have done this, so I don't need to come back to this. So be sure to launch it in your email before you go back to something trying to get you to uh, pay for the site. I have had a site since 2014. I've never paid for it and it still is very functional. And that was the one I introduced in my about intro. So welcome to WordPress. Uh, again, stop and start any of these tutorial videos to be sure you can get the steps down. And again, go to your email and it will launch it. And once you launch it and you say launch site, you pick up your URL here. Uh, here it is. You pick it up and you want to look at your URL. Your URL should be very clean. Shouldn't be any added uh, information. The only time you see that is if you're in the editing mode. And that is not what you want to send people. You want to send people the exact address, HTTPS, colon forward slash forward slash nmgpeakskill.wordpress.com. That is what you need to send me. That is what you need to uh, copy and paste into the discussion board to introduce yourself. So what's important to remember is that once you activate it in your email and you try to launch it, WordPress will throw you back to this page. And so when you scroll down, what they're trying to do is to get you to purchase it. So you want to scroll down until you see it down on the bottom here and you say skip purchase. Notice it's on the very bottom of the page. So remember how important scrolling is when you're on the screen. So then we click purchase and then start with the free site. And now I have a site that will be live. And now I have my uh, pages that we have created, uh, as I have, will show you in a sec. Okay, that's it. So welcome to WordPress, everyone. See you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.